Mosh Kali Floating LNG, MLNG. Mosh Kali Floating LNG, MLNG, is an integral component to ensuring the vitality of Bangladesh's energy future. The project utilizes state-of-the-art technology to provide the critical infrastructure required for the country to access natural gas from global markets. With up to 500 million standard cubic feet of gas per day, MMSCF-D, of her gasification capacity, Mosh Kali Floating LNG provides much-needed clean energy to promote power reliability, industrial development and job creation in a sustainable manner. The MLNG terminal enables Petrobangla to procure LNG from international gas markets which will further complement and enhance Bangladesh's ability to reliably use the country's domestic natural gas reserves. Expanding access to diverse and abundant sources of natural gas supply will allow local communities to flourish and provide a net economic benefit for the Bangladesh economic growth engine for years to come. The Bangladesh economy has been growing at over 6% a year for the last decade. But increased prosperity demands greater and greater power generation. Now, an innovative new source of energy has arrived off these shores, the Moheshkali Floating LNG Terminal. Bangladesh needs energy, but the natural gas supply and demand is a huge gap. So only way to keep our industries, our power plants going, is to have new source of gas supply. Accelerate Solution was a floating storage and offloading vessel, or FSRU, moored offshore in the Bay of Bengal. An FSRU is quick to install and benefits from a small environmental footprint. MLNG is the world's first fully integrated turnkey floating LNG terminal, where a single provider delivers all services never been just about providing a ship. We want to do the whole package, and we hope that makes it easier for Petro Bangla to only have a single point of interface. I think we're the only one in this space that really has that in our DNA, and that's what we want to do. Accelerate Energy will operate the terminal for 15 years, after which Petro Bangla will take ownership. IFC, a member of the World Bank Group, co-developed the project. One thing that's groundbreaking about the project is it's Bangladesh's first LNG import terminal. We worked with both the government and Accelerate to develop the project and ultimately raise the financing. The project was not without challenges. Bangladesh has a, a large power deficit. And this project is going to serve as the gateway, so it will be a stepping stone to move Bangladesh forward. This project is in an isolated area in Bangladesh where the oil and gas industry is not yet well established. It might be the first time in Bangladesh, but it is not first time in the hand accelerate energy. So equipment is coming from all over the world and we have to make it work logistically to be on time because there's a restricted window for the installation. At times, monsoon rains can batter the Bay of Bengal. But Accelerate is one of the few companies that is used to these conditions. Due to its offshore location, Accelerate's FSIU is designed to connect to a disconnectable turret mooring system, which adjusts to meet met-ocean conditions and acts as both the mooring device and the conduit through which natural gas is delivered to the pipeline. By November 2017, the cone for the turret had been exhaustively tested. Today we are doing the factory acceptance test of the cone plug you see behind me. We are doing pressure testing of the seals. Right now we are preparing for the rotation testing. The 
Work onshore begins with the installation of the pipeline terminal and manifold. The subsea modules that connect the FSRU to the pipeline are constructed and waiting for installation. And now we are in Singapore loading out the PLEM, the pipeline and manifold, and the pad, which are a part of the export system of gas for Accelerate. Key to the smooth operation of the terminal are four tugboats and a crew boat. They are incredibly maneuverable and fitted with the latest LNG safety systems. The finished tugs are put through their paces in January 2018 to test their pulling power. At the same time, but 2,000 miles away, the ship-to-shore pipeline is being laid. We've got two pipelines on this project. One is approximately seven kilometers, and the other is just uh, slightly longer than five kilometers. We lay on average about 60 joints a day on here. If you invest in the right people, uh, the rest of the job comes easily. The installation is nearing completion. All that remains is to complete the riser before the FSIU can be brought onto site. The plem has been installed, the spool has been installed and connected, and the riser as well. And the only thing now remaining for the whole loop to be closed, I would say, is the plug installation subsea. This is one of the most critical phases, because this is what is going to attach to the FSRU, the ship, that's going to be providing gas to Bangladesh. We have a lot of Bangladesh guys working with us, welders, pipe fitters. They love what they do and they know they work for a great cause, which is bringing gas to this country, which is great. One thing for this project in particular is, is having a client who's truly passionate about the project. This project is of national importance and you can feel it through every interface. The final elements of the jigsaw are slotted into place. The gas riser and communications umbilical are installed. Much of this work requires the help of expert diving contractors. Bangladesh has some very specific challenges. The current changes from north to south every six hours. So we have to plan our operations around the currents. That has been the hardest part of this whole project. I think we've really been able to elevate and educate on safety and, and the importance of considering safety, especially while installing it in these conditions. The cone is then lifted into place to complete the terminal. By August 2018, Excellence is installed. And the Mohesh Kali floating LNG terminal is a reality, only 13 months after reaching financial close. She can accept cargoes of 266,000 cubic meters of LNG and simultaneously regasify it for delivery into the Bangladesh grid. The LNG from international gas markets will increase the natural gas supply in Bangladesh by approximately 20%. The first cargoes having tremendous impact on Bangladesh and its economy, especially in the Chittagong region. We believe that the MLG project is an enabler to allow Bangladesh to secure its energy independence. With the 500 mm CFD of gas, we can produce 2,500 megawatt of power. That is why its contribution will mean a huge bang for the economy. Expanding access to diverse and abundant sources of natural gas supply will benefit the Bangladesh economic growth engine for years to come. This project would not be possible without many people across Bangladesh working tirelessly to bring it to where it is. They've just done a tremendous job.